Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Brains Automation Destination. So in our previous lectures of BDD Cucumber series, we discussed about how to utilize JUnit 4 for the parallel execution and then we discussed about the challenges associated with JUnit 4 for the parallel execution. And later we introduced TestNG which can help us overcoming these challenges of JUnit 4. So we discussed about the integration of Cucumber with test engine and we discussed about different ways of running the Cucumber test cases post integration with test engine. Today we are going to cover on the parallel execution part. First we will try to understand how the parallel execution works and then we will look into different ways of running the test cases parallelly. So without further delay, let me jump onto the code site. So as per the previous lecture, what we did, we were extending this abstract test and cucumber test in the runner part to integrate it with the test entity. And then after we write this override method, wherein like it was responsible for conversion of scenario into test at the rate test, which is a test case in test entity. So if you notice, we have a parameter parallel equal to true in the data provider. So this particular parameter is responsible for execution of test cases parallelly. If I'll make it false, we won't be able to execute our test cases parallelly. Okay, so this is the first thing. Then after what I'm going to do, I'm going to this uh, Google dot feature. So I'm going to provide. Uh, I have created three scenarios, uh, the same scenarios that I have copied three times, but have different names: scenario one, scenario two, and scenario three. And I have provided the same tag as well. So I'm going to copy this particular tag, which I'm going to provide here. So now when I will run this test case. By right clicking on it they will all run in parallel so let us look at the same so if you will see three test cases are getting executed parallelly right now so we observe that uh, we are able to execute our test cases parallelly now the next thing is if i what if i'll make it false so in this case what will happen so i'm i have made it false and now i'm again going to run it then let us see what will happen so we will observe first first test code case got executed and it will be killed then second test case is getting executed and similarly now the third test case is getting executed means sequential execution is taking place so this particular parameter is the entry point for execution of test cases parallelly now the next question which will come to your mind how many test cases we can run in parallel so for example if i copy this three times and make it more than 10 so by default this test entry can accommodate 10 threads to run in parallel meaning 10 test cases can be run in parallel and what if i want to control it so for that what we can do we can uh, provide the thread count in many ways so let me go to test ng xml because we discussed about test ng xml in the previous session this is one way of executing the test cases so at the suit level what we need to do we need to provide data provider thread count two so i have three test cases having the same match same tag match right meaning i have three test cases having at the test entry which i'm running so what i'm going to do here i have pointed two so in this case what will happen only two test cases will execute it first parallelly so let us try to execute so we will see that two test cases are getting executed parallelly right and now once one of them is got executed then the control is going to third so this is how we can control thread count part or number of the test cases that we want to execute parallelly so this is one way and second way is by going into the maven surefire plugin so in the maven surefire plugin uh, in the configuration section we can provide this properties we can provide property section and under property i can again provide data provider count so i'm now again going to run it so if you will observe so i'm providing data provider count the name of parameter or property i mean and this is value so if i for example now run ambient test so we will observe it will again execute the test cases parallelly two test cases actually because we have provided two threads so we will see one chrome launch and second chrome launched right so once one is completed then the third will launch so this is how 
we can provide the thread count from the form.xml as well under Sherpa plugin. So this Sherpa part we have already covered in the previous sections. And uh, there is another way of executing the test cases parallelly as well. Uh, that is, and uh, yeah, that is uh, if, uh, for example, if I uh, by programmatically I can say so, what I can do, I am going to remove it from here so that there is no confusion at all, like it is not using this one. I am going to comment this particular section as well. And now, what I am going to do, I am going to simply provide here. So, in this before class, what I am using, I am using I test context. This is a test ng listener. So using this context, I'm trying to get the current XML suit, uh, suit XML, current XML suit, get suit. Then I'm setting the data provider count. So ultimately we need to provide data provider parallel count, right? So this is what is needed. So I'm now going to run it again. So we will see two test cases are getting executed parallelly. So I'm going here, I'm showing you that two test cases are getting executed, then the third is coming into the picture. So this is how we can control the threads or the number of test cases we want to execute parallelly. So let us quickly recap uh, what we have covered. So we covered how to execute test cases parallelly, what is the building block responsible for execution of test cases parallelly. Then we tried using parallel equal to false and later we discussed about uh, executing the number of test cases or restricting number of test cases to be executed parallelly using test and XML, then form.xml and later using the programmatically uh, way of uh, writing or providing the thread count. So this is uh, what I wanted to cover in this particular video. Thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.